Welcome to this holy instant now. An instant to stop and remember. Remember who and what you truly are beyond the matrix of fear, lack, and limitation. All that seems to limit you in this world is only an illusion that demands your continued belief and attention in order to have any power over you. Now is your opportunity to let go of whatever stands in the way of your complete awareness of your true and original self. Sit back with your spine upright, get comfortable, and take a deep, slow breath. And as you exhale, release both past and future, release both memory and imagination, and become fully present in the now. And let's begin. The contemplation with which we begin today's practice is this. What is sin? Sin is insanity. It is the means by which the mind is driven mad and seeks to let illusions take the place of truth. And being mad, it sees only illusions where the truth should be and where it really is. Sin is an illusory concept rooted in the belief in separation from God. The essential nature of God's creation is love and oneness with the Creator. But the ego, or the false sense of self, perceives a reality based in the separation from our divine source. This separation is considered the original sin. And yet this separation is not a real event, but a mistaken perception or illusion. And all the negative behaviors and suffering in the world stem from this belief in separation from God and the resulting ego-based thinking. Sin is the foundation of all the erroneous thoughts and beliefs that lead to actions and behaviors that are not aligned with love, forgiveness, and the recognition of our interconnectedness with all of creation. The entire dream matrix is based on the belief in sin, the belief that each being somehow left its divine source and has become tarnished, and what was once perfect and the home of God has been reduced to limitation, imperfection, and the home of sin. The body, being a product of the dream matrix, is then used by the ego mind through identification as proof that separation is real and that God's eternal creation is now subject to suffering, loss, and death. Sin is the so-called proof that the ego presents that God's creation is evil, 
that timelessness must have an end and that eternal life must die. And God himself has lost the creation he loves with but corruption remaining to complete himself. His will forever overcome by death, love slain by hate, and peace to be no more. A madman's dreams are frightening, and sin indeed appears to terrify. And yet what sin perceives is but a childish game. The Holy One of God may play that he has become a body, prey to evil and to guilt, with but a little life that ends in death. But all the while, his Creator shines on him and loves him with an everlasting love which his pretenses cannot change at all. How long will you maintain the game of sin? How soon will you be ready to come home? Perhaps today. There is no sin. Creation is unchanged. Would you still hold return to heaven back? Take a moment now to contemplate the contrast between the ego's belief in sin and God's true and eternal creation. Allow this contemplation to saturate your mind, to shape your thoughts and your decisions, transforming the way you see and illuminating the way of awakening to the truth. Take the next minute or so to contemplate this now. And now, take a deep, slow breath. And as you let it go, let your mind and body relax. Allow all tension to dissipate. As you let go of the past and the future, and allow yourself to come fully into presence now. Words and concepts will mean little to us now, for now we seek the direct experience of truth alone. We leave the thoughts of the dream matrix behind and will to enter the kingdom of peace within. And here we wait in quiet expectation for the direct experience of God and the revelation of our oneness 
with our source and our unity with all things. So take one more deep, slow and full breath in. And as you let it go, open your mind to take in the idea with which we practice today. God is the only goal I have today. The way to God is through forgiveness here. There is no other way. If sin had not been cherished by the mind, what need would there have been find a way to where you already are? Who would remain uncertain still? Who could be unsure of who he is? And who would yet remain asleep in heavy clouds of doubt about the holiness of him whom God created sinless. Here we can but dream, but we can dream we have forgiven him in whom all sin remains impossible, and it is this we choose to dream today. God is our goal. Forgiveness is the means by which our minds return to Him at last. We would come to you today in your appointed way. We have no goal except to hear your voice and find the way your sacred word has pointed out to us. In the dream matrix, we are presented with an endless list of goals, outcomes, and desires that seem to promise to us fulfillment, happiness, and peace. By now we know that none of these promises are ever kept or fulfilled, and yet within there is the mechanism of illusion that continues to churn, leading us to believe again and again that yet another goal will hold more promise, another desire fulfilled will at last bring us peace. The infinite creator is the only source of peace, and in truth, it is God that we look for in all of our desires, in all of our pursuits, and in all hopes. Today, we take the direct route, the straight and narrow path in which we admit that God is the only thing we want. And so, Infinite Creator, we come to you at last. We embrace the path to which you have called us, forgiving all things and keeping our eyes on you. Enter into our minds today, our hearts, our being, and reveal to us in our conscious awareness your presence, that we may know that we are already and always fulfilled.
as you approach the completion of this practice period. Take another deep, slow, and full breath in. Breathing in all of the energy and frequency of your practice, integrating it into all aspects of your thought system and your perception now. As you exhale slowly, relax and release and allow the integration to take place. And remember to bring this feeling, this awareness and this idea with you into the rest of your day. God is the only goal I have today. The way to God is through forgiveness here. There is no other way. If sin had not been cherished by the mind, what need would there have been to find a way to where you already are. Who would remain uncertain still? Who could be unsure of who he is? And who would yet remain asleep in heavy clouds of doubt about the holiness of him whom God created sinless? Here we can but dream, but we can dream we have forgiven him in whom all sin remains impossible, and it is this we choose to dream today. God is our goal. Forgiveness is the means by which our minds Return to him at last. And so, infinite creator, we would come to you today in your appointed way. We have no goal except to hear your voice and find the way your sacred word has pointed out to us. My gratitude is to you for investing this time and energy into your awakening and the awakening of the world. If you enjoyed and benefited from this practice and wish to support this channel, take a moment to like the video, subscribe to continue the journey, and leave a comment in the comment section below, sharing what you will embrace and what you will release that will allow you to step ever more fully into your true self.